Hello everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In the last session, we finally rescued Sigurd after what has felt like an eternity, uh, but in doing so, we have learned that he may have been made a little bit crazy, potentially, by Fulke, although maybe it's not entirely crazy, like, ah... Uh, Odin, who's been like guiding us throughout the game, seemed to be indicating that 4K actually had the right of it, so I don't know, I don't know, we'll see where this goes. Man, video game water has come so fucking far, hasn't it? <laughs> like, video game water used to be shite, used to be shocking, and now it's like, yeah, that looks like regular water, <laughs> good job. So, um, we, we did the anomaly, didn't we, in this area, so there is nothing left preventing us from toddling off back home. Wait, why does that quest thing... Oh, the fucking... Fe I could have sworn, I could have sworn multiple sessions ago now, they said that this festival was a brief thing that would only last a couple of days. And it's now, like, ages later and it's still going on. You dirty liars. Right. Uh, there's nothing else to raid here, is there? No, we got all the towers, we got the anomaly, so, yeah, we are heading back home, and I do not know where things go from here. But I'm guessing that Sigurd is going to have things to say. <laughs> He's going to have a couple of, one or two little, uh, little things to say regarding our, uh, our lack of rush to get him. And uh, there's also, of course, Dag. <laughs> Dag, no longer with us. Very sadly. Very, was was heartbroken to have to execute Dag. I'm sure there's going to be some anger there. We shall see. We shall see. Oh my god, did I just run past that motherfucker without him starting his fucking story? Have we reached the dawn of a new era? What a time to be alive. Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Branvi, Branvi will tell you. Oh yeah, we'll see. My dear wife, brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen, what I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war, a Roman Mars. I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Okay, this is slightly more fucking insane than I was expecting. You absolute nut job. <laughs> Everyone's just looking at him like, um, my dude. Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. That was some great voice acting, though. His fucking rant there. A Roman Mars, <laughs> and you will not hear. <laughs> like that was that He's was. Way since his return. That was good shit. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind. I can try. Yeah, I don't know that I'm the one who's he wants to uh, speak to right now. I'm not sure. Stand with cheer, one and all. Wow, that person's been enjoying the party a bit too much right above my head there. He's, uh, oh, he's out. Well in, lad. Well in. Yeah, uh, oh my, wait. <laughs> well, Sigurd's gone. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the new order. No. Randri, Sigurd has been through so much. Be patient with him. Of course. I cannot imagine. The savagery of that woman, Folke. For all her wretchedness, she seemed to... to like him. I know that sounds strange. 
How do you mean? She claimed to know him, to admire him. Said he was a greater man than we could ever know. Yet for all her praise, she tortured him to the brink of madness and death. I do not understand why. In time, Sigurd may come around. And if he does, he may be willing to speak. We will see. Wait, have you got more to say? Or is that just not disappearing properly? Ranvi. Have you spoken with- Not yet. Oh, that was actually different. I, I thought it was- Yeah, whatever. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly alone with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. The subtitles were fucked up then. <laughs> Said as we sailed him, but the dialogue was as we sailed here. <laughs> Why does his fucking dot 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 disappear and Ranvi's does not? Ranvi. Have you spoken? Not yet. Maybe indicating that I need to go back after uh, after I do speak to Sigurd. Where am I looking? Ah, is he in the Seer's hut or something? Oh no, wait, no, he's. No, that's the Seer's hut. I'm dumb. He's just off over there. Okay. He's having a gander. Rolo. Returned from Frankie already. This is a surprise. Oh, this dude. Is the Lady Astrid well? She is. Had a rough few weeks upon our return, but she is on her feet and with her family. And I am looking for a new adventure. If I remember right, you said I might find it here with your clan. You remember right? That's right. Your presence is much needed and well appreciated. Settle in and we'll sail soon enough. Sweet. Good to have him on the team. Where's Sigurd gone? I'm gonna be there by the time this fucking horse arrives. God damn it, horse. Cast about this land, my friend. Hello, bro. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Having so a normal one? Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. But he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. But for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. 
I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Okie dokie then. I don't know exactly what I was expecting from his uh, return, but it wasn't this. He's like gone full wacko. It's just the fact that Odin fucking agreed with her. That's the one thing that's bugging me about all this. Good boy. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. The good news? <laughs> uh, I don't know that that was necessarily good. Hmm. Greetings. Sup? What's Basim doing here? You've never been in here before. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man, yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. Look at all those fucking ravens, boy! Love to see it. Wait, what? Oh, was that... Oh, I thought it was in the room next to me. I guess this is all just fucking... Jesus Christ. They have to put so many fucking quest markers around for it. I want to see the Alliance map. Okay. So, what have we got? What have we got? This is finally available. 220. And this is available. 190. Right, and these are the only two. And then there will be Hamptonshire at the end. That's like the final one. So we're, 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 we're so close now. We're so close. Uh, but I guess we'll do it in power order. So, Yorvishir next. What awaits in Yorvishire? Halfton Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greetings. Oh, yeah? He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfton Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. Yeah. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. Let's fucking do it! Yeah, we've heard this dude mentioned a whole ton throughout the game. A whole ton. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. Hi. All right then. Uh, I probably have some upgrades I can make to this joint. Let's see you, old friend. What's that? Festival shop. Go away. Uh, Foul Farm. I can boost that. Grain Farm, Cattle Farm. I guess we'll do those because they're quite close to each other. I'm so pleased that you're here. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> Whoever the fuck just said that. Uh, plus armor, sure. Ooh, 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 who are ya? Who are ya? Vigo's reminders. Check seeds for insects, blah, 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 blah. 
Letter from Gudrun to Runa. The children are getting into such trouble lately. Just the other day they brought in a whole box of squirrels they'd trapped and let them loose in our house. There must have been 12 or 13 of them, and it was pure chaos. They ran all about and covered all of my sailcloth in their droppings. The squirrels, I mean, not the children. I know I'm not encouraging such behaviour, so I wrote in hopes that we might be able to form some sort of coalition to ensure that we're aligned on their discipline. Do let me know what you think. Uh, sure. Upgrade that bad boy. Nice camera pan. Straight through a house. Great stuff. You can even do it again. But, uh, I sure can't afford that. Horsey! Can I afford this one? Uh, no. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's uh quite a lot of stuff. Okay, we good. Oh, hello. What have you got to say? Basim, have you spoken with Sigurd lately? We talk from time to time. Why? Have you noticed any change in him? Any loss of, of happiness or feeling? He appears to me more thoughtful. Introspective. Thoughtful? That seems an understatement. He speaks as if he hears the voices of the gods whispering in his ear. We live in a strange time, Eivor. Among stranger people, Sigurd may be among the blessed, but who can say for certain? Indeed. To be fair, Eivor, you yourself do talk to the gods pretty often, <laughs> or at least god singular. So, I mean, it's not, it shouldn't be that much of a stretch to you to believe it's a possibility. Uh, you're not the usual armor dude. <laughs> Hello. Need something forged? Good day. Is Gunnar about, or did he leave and not mention it? My name is Rima, and Gunnar is a good friend of mine. Ask me to run his shop while he's away. It is good to meet you, and strange to see Gunnar away from his forge. Well, as far as I know, he's got a very compelling and beautiful reason for his absence. So here I am. Well, if Gunnar has faith in you, I do too. Then I say you have fine taste. Have a look at what I've got. Um, yeah, I see your stores. Did I get enough of the shit to upgrade my shit yet? Still no. This fucking... We're nearly at the end of the game. There's only a couple of areas left and we've still only ever seen a single piece of gold. Fuck me. I mean, I guess we're not extensively scouring everywhere like we were originally, but we're still opening quite a lot of fucking chests and stuff, right? Hmm. I guess it's probably only in the specific golden treasure chests, and then we are ignoring those. So I guess maybe we will never actually upgrade the axe. Oh well. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. So oh well, it is what it is. Right. Um. Let's do the thing then. Let us do the thing. That's got to be the closest point. Time to meet the man himself. The big boy. Do do yeet.
Was Ivar one of his sons? Am I remembering that right? Is he going to be pissed that we murdered Ivar? Wow, nice ambush, dickheads. Bye. He is right next to a fast travel point. Get your bright white fucking texture out. Jesus. Come on, horsey, really? It's not that fucking steep, lad. Signs of battle. Hard fought on both sides. Yep, I'd say these are definitely signs of battle. <laughs> You're not wrong. a different tune to normal, right? Is it? No, maybe not. Is it? I don't know. That didn't strike me as the recognisable tune I'm used to. You know my face? Now there's a face I've seen before. Thought of it. We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. Oh, right. The Yuletide massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Half Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Shuffle round! Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Is anyone ever happy to see the likes of you, Eivor? Did that motherfucker just duck? Dead eyes around here with terrible aim. Yeah, you got him. Oh, God. Damn. 
What the fuck? Oh, are you not? I thought no. Oh. I thought the marked ones were enemies. Picks are just ahead. Lead the way, and we'll watch your back. You want me to lead the way? Are you wounded? If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory. What a bro. We like half done. You owe me your life, old friend. Once again. Half done, Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Farrowit's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba. Oh, Finn brothers, right. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faramid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Caster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? Uh, he's impressive. Heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravid. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. The sayings of Hafton. You heard the Jarl. Take the gear and start digging. Alright. Meet up with him. Yeah, good first impression. Curious, uh what he actually called us here for, though. If it's something that can't be spoken about in public. The Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Indeed. Very cool. Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? I don't know, but probably around where this fucking <laughs> marker is, I would imagine. If I had to take a punt. I'm surprised there's not a uh, fast travel point here. Uh, should I be... Is there like a way, a, an obvious way inside this place? Or... Aha! Please, Lady Moira. My wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Hafton needs me now. Are you a nun? 
I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weka, Hafton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I'm sorry, I saw what? Him fight. He was an ill man. Health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? Okay. My dude's ill. Hate to see it. We crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people. This oh, I didn't realise that, that would fucking cut it off. Concern. The time to strike is, is when I say we strike. Halfdan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Avdan Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Jorvik. So sing my skulls. Hell yeah. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the Carls and Chaels of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. He didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Jarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? I think it looks like a cup, my dude. Uh, give me mead instead. I think you'll like that, right? Wine goblets are for Roman kneelers. Give me a horn of mead any day. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. Yeah, I like that. Good. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Right, can we chat now? Faced smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said Shh, not here, not now. <laughs> My dude see, fill yourself with ale, then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Love to be cryptic, don't you? Not here. Let us get away from envious ears. You know, you can walk as fast as you like, mate. Try your look at throwing bones. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm over it. It was a good mini game, but I'm over it. Mildred, dear, have a care when you when you serve Lord Hafton. He grows wroth at the slightest thing these days and rages at, at all. And oh right, rages at all, as in all people. Last fortnight he had that poor server to tossed in a pigsty for spilling a dash of wine out his bloody unicorn's horn. His uh, his what horn? Sorry. <laughs> How true! I shall send a strongly worded note in protest. King Rishia. Ah, Avo. We have missed your wit on the Jorvik Council. I haven't missed you. I attend in spirit. Would you lend us your wisdom now, if possible? We are at pains to determine how to deal with the Northern Picts. Meet iron with iron. That is the way. 
And this feast is how the Danes prepare their blades. This is we the way. well and won. Tomorrow we'll fight again. But we must always make time for celebration. I defer to your expertise. Hacking, hewing, and the like. Enjoy the feast, counselor. Okay, where's our dude gone? Probably further upstairs. Wait, why is there a... Is it showing a fucking... Wait, no, it says 45 meters below me. What? Well, I can't see it. I'm confused. How can it be 45 meters below me? I'm just trying to move out the way of it, but you can't zoom in any further. It doesn't seem to be showing on the map. Is that a bug? Hmm. Whatever. Half Dan, what's up? 